welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Elac's brand new big bookshelf speakers, the BS404. These speakers uh, help to sort of round out and finish off the Elac Vela range. Now the Velas have been, um, they're, they're a gem, they're stunning, I've loved the entire range. In fact to the point that we got them custom made in blue um, for our props behind us. These are lovely. The Jet 5 tweeter is unimaginably detailed with no hint of brightness. The uh, drive units and all of the technology that they utilize is absolutely stunning. They've done four or five in the range with some very large floor standing speakers and the relatively modest floor standers and a little bookshelf. This bookshelf emulates essentially the drive unit size of their um, 408 floor standing speakers. So it's a little bit larger, about 180 millimeters, something along those lines. It means that the frequency response and depth of the speaker is significantly better than the 403 that we've unboxed here before. Like the 403 and the rest of the Vela range, um, it's available in three standard colors, black, uh, white, and walnut. Um, and it will come with all of the stunning, stunning sound qualities you would expect. So, let's have a look. Firstly, as I alluded to, with the larger drive units from some of their bigger speakers, and you know, the box itself, you can see that these are not small speakers. There's a pair in here, obviously, clearly, right? But look at the size of it. We know what we're expecting. This is not a petite little speaker that you're just going to put on a side table. This is something of real credibility and quality. The box itself, like all of the uh, Vela boxes, good solid cardboard box. It's uh, cellotaped and stapled closed. There's uh, packing information, serial numbers, manufacturing codes, all of those things, and scannable information on the end. ELAC logo on the other side. Okay. Now, anything that um, is taped and stapled, you have to be a little bit more careful opening it. You'll see, unlike when I try to avoid running a craft knife across the packaging, with these you need to, and then give it a, give it a tear. There's no elegant way at this point. Always pause and remove the staples. Um, it's quite critical for a couple of reasons. Firstly, with these sort of sharp things uh, dangling around the top of the box, there's a potential that you might brush past them and cut yourself in the process of unboxing your speaker. But to be honest, the worst would be to have the speaker as you unbox it or do something with it drag and get scratched. The beautiful painted and polished finishes, we never want to see those ruined with the sharp edges of these staples. Now, with anything that's relatively large, and again, let's have a look at the packaging that they've got. Big chunks of polystyrene, ensuring that these are very, very well protected in freight. You can see one, two speakers clearly. But my recommendation when anything is big and heavy is just take a moment, roll it over. And instead of trying to lift the heavy item out of the box, take the box off the item. And then it's a lot more straightforward and lightweight. Now it's taken with it some of the polystyrene, and you'll see the moulded uh, protective polystyrene. Now, because these are in pairs, I'm just going to very carefully take one and put it off to one side. Okay. And concentrate on one of the speakers today. Now there is a um, user manual, basic information about the range. What ELAC do is the, the manuals themselves are relatively generic, not really specific to the range. It's about good speaker placement and cabling and by wiring and things like that. But the specifications are on a sticker at the back. Now the speakers themselves, already you're getting an understanding of how much bigger than these are over the slightly smaller 403s. There's a big heavyweight plastic bag, 
and then uh, a cloth bag on the inside. Opening that plastic bag is very, very straightforward. It's a simple enough nick and tear approach to it. The bag itself is thick plastic. And probably the easiest, to be honest, is put it carefully onto its top. Because the bag itself then needs to be sort of opened. And look, we'll pause for a moment as I shimmy it around. These speakers are genuinely designed to sit on a shelf or a piece of furniture or side table. There are matched stands that they will bolt into and that's probably the most practical way of utilising them. But why I've paused and mentioned it is quite unlike most speakers in their class. They don't have a flat bottom um, uh, of the same you know, wood grain or something that the speakers might have. These have a really well thought out rubber pad. It's designed to stop vibration to the surface and also stop any of that vibration from the, the drive unit itself. It's a wonderful little thing that they've added. Instead of some little cheap bump on that you rip the thing on and stick a couple on, this thing has been really well thought out. And should it be sitting on a surface, it's going to sound absolutely stunning. Again, hang around for the photos as usual, but you'll see close-ups of the pre-taps ready for the new stands. Putting it over, first taking the plastic bag and then the polish cloth bag off, we get to see for the first time this magnificent bookshelf speaker. Right down the bottom, we've got ourselves an ELAC logo and this sort of beautiful sort of muted um, style at, at the base of the speaker. Now that comes to something we'll come to later associated with ear management. So the ELAC logo front and centre and this lovely design. At the top of the speaker, we see a, a, a a reflective or a reflection management panel. Everything, even these little wee edges are designed to help manage the potential reflection of the main drive units into the space. Managing sound stage, but most importantly the direct reflection that can be seen as distortion. The cabinets themselves, and I'll tilt it forward, have a beautiful curve to them. There's no flat surfaces. In fact the almost wing-shaped design must be incredibly expensive for them to produce and yet they do so because of the respect for the, the engineering behind something of this credibility and quality. They have the Jet 5 tweeter and again even the circular ring around it is designed to help disperse and uh, manage the reflection of the high frequencies and bring them out to the listening environment. There are four exposed bolts and again, it's well protected. You'd, you'd really have to kind of have a go at this before you'd manage to damage the delicate ribbon in behind. Then we see the 180mm mid-bass driver with the classic uh, triangular texture that we've known to love in the Vila range. The annulus is soft but robust and it's not going to suffer from any of the classic issues that foam surrounds had decades ago. Again, it's bolted into a massive um, uh, magnet, well sorry, the magnet is held with a massive basket bolted into the front of the unit and again the curves of that cabinet can be more easily seen as we see an edge of that basket protruding from this side but it's almost recessed at the top. Spinning it around we get to see some of the beautiful design. Now these are in gloss black clearly, they're also available in gloss white and a beautiful gloss walnut. Uh, again, hang around for some of the photographs and I'll take some close-ups of both of these. The elegance is absolutely stunning and again that semi sort of uh, wing shaped design I guess helps to ensure that the speaker is managing the reflection of its main drive unit's uh, volume into the room. It's very narrow at the back because of that design and we'll see at the back uh, an emulation of the model and serial number information and its sticker and Elax Vila binding posts. These have a wonderful fit and finish, really good quality connection points. There are five way binding posts, so they'll take bananas and spades and beer wires and loops and all of those things that they might need. There's an Elac branded bridging clip and it's, and it's um, insulated with a little bit of rubber around it to help avoid some of the whoops moments when you could potentially create a dead short. It's at the side that we pause though and we see this sort of um, uh, 
high-heeled shoe kind of design, for, for want of a better word. The port is in the base of the speaker, firing into this metal plate. This helps to disperse the uh, air pressure evenly without the chuffing involved with a traditional port. Again, hideously expensive to try and do well, but ELAC has mastered it. Now these are certainly not cheap speakers, but given all of the design elements, the bass management, the Jet 5 tweeter, the huge frequency response, all of these things, these are actually really, really good value. And again, that foot, I mean, you'll see I'm sort of having to sort of unweight it and lift it to move it around. The foot stabilizes the speaker almost automatically onto the surface, and it's, again, wonderful to see. It's clearly not their first rodeo. They know how to build really, really good bookshelf speakers. Now, the drive unit being larger than the smaller of the two bookshelves that we've seen uh, means that the unit will actually get down to about 38 hertz. Now, that's equivalent to some modest floor standing speakers. So again, wonderful to see such grip and control of the lower frequencies. The Jet 5 tweeter means that the unit will actually expand its frequencies well beyond recorded at about 50 kilohertz and it solves some of the potential resonant issues with the high frequencies. The units themselves, these, um, the speaker is sort of 40 to 200 watts as far as its amplification range, but they sort of talk about more like 80 to 120 being a recommendation. The speakers themselves, again, extremely elegant in their design, and please hang around for our photographs. I just so enamoured with the, this design. It's been one that uh, the Vila bookshelves have always been ones that have kind of really struck it with me. Uh, whenever I've done demonstrations or let people listen to these things, they've always gone, wow, watch wonderful bass. And to see a, a finish of the range with this mid-sized bookshelf speaker is extremely exciting. So, there we have it. Elax Vila BS404. Their bigger bookshelf speaker, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.